University, Christ University uh, in Bangalore, Dr. Anurag Tripathi. I guess we'll take all the issue of preparing this uh, monographs and making it as a Scopus monograph. He's brilliant in that. And uh, he has... Uh, he has a public uh, presentation for today uh, with the topic of cross-cultural intellectual exchange, exploring influence of Jedidism in Central Asia on educational reform in India. And thank you again, uh, Bahadur John. Anurag, thank you very much. Yours. <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, see you. Uh, you are welcome. <laughs> Uh, welcome Thank to Tirana, right? Right, sure, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, welcome to Fergana, to yeah. Uzbekistan, to Central Ocean. <laughs> he is the key person to invite you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, thank you. Uh, am I audible? Am I audible, Agnota? Uh, yes, yeah. you are. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Thank you for in inviting me first. And I think... Uh, all the universities which are attached with this particular conference, I'm privileged and honored to from inviting me here to discuss such an important topic. I was listening and learning from senior professors uh, about uh, Jadidism and what I decided to 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 bring in this particular paper. Try to find out uh, Indian scholar who worked who were uh, influenced by the uh, Jainism and how they executed reform in India. Generally, uh, I consider in uh, Western countries, whatever reform took place, that was uh, accounted very well. Rather, in Eastern part of the world, I realized a lot of things are missing and people are not... Uh, able to 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 consolidate in a proper manner in an academic manner and that's why i try to identify some of the scholars and try to highlight that why uh, it is required we have to discuss in eastern world order also about about the things which took place and reform the things in our part of the world and in that context uh, what i uh, i took i uh, uh, just focus on uh, Jainism influence in education reform in India. And uh, I'm not going to the core values of Jainism that I already uh, already discussed, previous scholars already pointed out. Uh, so I'm not going to focus on all these things. Uh, maybe I can highlight some of the Indian aspects which discuss about the secularization of education, vernacular education, gender equality, modern pedagogy, all these are part of core value of Jainism, which are also you know, somehow uh, influence in Indian education system also. Rather, what I decided, I took four scholars to, to discuss about how the, the, the idea of Jainism is uh, influence Indian scholars. And I took the scholar like Sir Sayyid Ahmed Khan. I took the scholar uh, who was a first education minister of India, Maulana Abul Kalam Ajat. I took the scholar who is actually uh, from Pakistan side, but his influence in uh, 1930s was great. And that is Alma Mashriki and obviously uh, Tagore. Uh, I took these four scholars whose uh, writings, whose academic work influence Indian academia, Indian education system, and uh, through in context of Jadidism, uh, I try to mention all these things. Start with the Sir Sayyid Ahmed Khan and uh, uh, Abu, uh, Abu Jar Sir already mentioned about Sir Sayyid uh, Ahmed Khan and his uh, his uh, uh, writings and uh, uh, how he tried to reform Indian Indian education system and what is his vision. Actually, his very interesting writing is there that is uh, coming to the monthly magazine which he started that is known as Tahjib ul uh, Akhal. 
it was a regular mon uh, monthly magazine where he discuss about the reform in reform in education uh, system especially in indian muslim education uh, system and he tried to discuss about the how we can bring scientific learning and modern education with uh, with the with our education system it is not eradicate our our education system rather parallel we can carry both the education system we can bring the modern education and scientific learning with the with the our uh, our uh, school of education system which we are following uh, he was uh, always admirer of western knowledge alongside with the traditional islamic studies also he wants to develop curriculum in the way which can skill the 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 new generation and that way his influence uh, reflected in 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 education system also he established mohammedan anglo oriental Col oriental college uh, that is now known as aligarh muslim university and uh, the 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 jihadist ideals he foster and try to 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 to, to uh, you can say that uh, convey in young scholars and young uh, indian indian uh, intellectuals to 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 inculcate these ideas together and try to bring a uh, education curriculum which can help new generation so that sir sayed ahmed khan's, khan's role is very important when it is coming to the jihadism and its influence in indian education system another important personality which i want to focus that is the maulana kalam azad who was uh, first uh, education minister of india and he wrote a lot he, uh, if you see his writings basic concept of quran khubare uh, khatir darse wafa india wins freedom all these his work always uh, you can see you will get the context which discuss about the how to reform the education system and uh, he was also highly influenced by the jihadist ideology um, and he always focus on how we can we can we can bring bring the 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 new structure new scientific structure in our model of education which is somehow missing uh, he mentioned about the the social justice justice communal communal harmony women's education which are part of larger jihadist movement and his focus is always that how we can make uh, advanced and progressive islamic thought in india so that is another important scholar which uh, whose work is very substantial when it is coming to the jihadist influence in indian indian in, in academia another important uh, scholar which uh, i want to mention uh, his name is alama marsiki who is uh, actually a uh, mathematician and from uh, now uh, in pakistani part uh, but he actually mentioned about uh, he was a founder of one particular movement in 1930 that is known as a khas khaksar movement and this movement actually Uh, played a very important role in reforming education system in india during that time and he mentioned about why modern education and scientific knowledge is very important in that particular uh, in his movement also he mentioned about the gender equality social justice communal harmony and that 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 reflect in modern day indian education i think one of the important personality which is not known lesser known in academia but his influence in 1930s and how he brought the idea of jihadist movement in india and how he he put forward that is very important another important personality which i want to discuss that is the ravina tagore uh, tagore's work and uh, especially i want to mention in 1892 his article uh, uh, that is our education and its in 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 congruity where he mentioned not it is it is uh, correlation is not directly uh, is muslim education or islamic education rather he mentioned about overall education perspective which is which is highly influenced by the jihadist movement 
he started uh, the Biswa Bharati Education Institution, where most of the objectives are taken from the Jadist movement. Whether it is it is it is it is the uh, uh, equal opportunity for the for the female kids or women in education system, or you can discuss about the the the, the vernacular uh, education system, which are very prominent in Jadist movement because. Uh, most of the texts were there in, in Persian and Arabic. And they discuss about how to promote the lo local language like Uzbek and Tajik language in education system because it is more accessible to the common people. And it is a question of the sense of national identity also. In that regard, uh, Tagore's work is very important to understand Jadist, uh, movement, Jadist influence in Indian context and he discussed about why we need uh, we need vernacular language we need our own language to write scientifically and and try to inculcate in our our knowledge base and that way we can reform the things we are a, a similar way coming with the colonial past and our own language culture is somehow influenced by the western or in English culture that way our own vernacular language uh, is somehow left out and people native people who are able to understand things in their language they are not able to understand because most of the texts are available in english education and other things tagore focus on in the similar way how jagist movement discuss about the vernacular uh, language similar way he also focused that why vernacular writings are important and that's why in Biswabharti he meant he 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 came with the idea of the languages to focus on to focus on uh, Indian education in a very vernacular form uh, the, uh, after uh, reading all these four prominent uh, uh, leaders writers, I realized that that uh, uh, Indian past, uh, if we look, uh, it was too much influenced by these four personalities, and uh, their their ideas, how they brought it from the Jadist movement directly or indirectly, that is now working after 1947. Uh, I realized when we got independence, most of the the Western intellectuals they were saying that India is not going to sustain uh, for long as a, as a country because it is very difficult, very multicultural and very unequal. But I think the ideas like Jadis principle, which is brought by our, our first education minister and the legacy which was there from Sir Sayyid Ahmed Khan to, to Ravin Nath Tagore, uh, to, to, to the scholar like Alama Marshiki, I think I think it play very important role to sustain India's multicultural uh, uh, sustain as a India as a multicultural country. So I think uh, in that way I want to uh, highlight that Jadism emerged as a significant uh, reform reformist movement within Indian Islam. Uh, I don't want to restrict it only with the with the Islam, Indian Islam. Rather, I want to discuss more uh, beyond to Islamic uh, education and whole education system is in in India is reformed due to the Jadist movement. Uh, uh, our education became modernized. We empower women and social reform took place. It is because of the because of the Jadist movement. The so Jadist movement had has a lot of influence in Indian tradition, especially in modernity. And uh, that's why it is very important now to discuss and highlight the people who are involved and how they executed it and how we can carry forward the idea of Jadism in future and make society progressive. Uh, uh, I, I end with this. Thank you. Thanks a lot.